there's so many people here. It's <laughs> wonderful. Uh, anyway, um, so I give you a quick rundown of what I'm doing here. This, like Bob said, these are these are my paints. I, I created this paint line. Uh, they're born out of. I'm an artist, a painter myself, and this is literally my paint. This is the paint that I've been making for myself in my studio, and I have a lot of. You know, of the 60 colors, 20 of these colors are completely unique to my line, and some of them are still pretty rare beyond that. And again, all these colors I use, I have used, and I've chosen them all for my own personal use. And um, so there's a little, there's a, you know a lot of things that are different from the run of mill run of the mill colors you might be used to, um, but they're all useful, and um, you know it's my own take. And so anyway, I'm just gonna tell you, a little, you know, a little bit about the colors, mix some things, give you an idea how we can use some of these colors and how they might work with each other. And um, So first thing we'll start with by saying is uh, I make my paint with, uh, wal this is walnut oil. I'll just show you an example. This is linseed oil. You see linseed oil is much darker, much more yellow. Um, and I like the, uh, I'm all about color. That's my thing. So. Um, I like the walnut oil because it gives you much cleaner color. Um, also, it's it's uh, much more absorbent, as in we can make a more saturated paint. We can put more pigment into the paint. Um, so uh, you know, especially in the transparent colors, you know, we're not going to have our color dirtied up with this, you know, darker, more yellow oil. Um, and so those are some of the advantages. I also like the walnut oil because it has a little different handling property. Um, you know, it, it makes a paint that's, that you can really push around, but at the same time it, it stands up. So it doesn't want to level out as easily as the linseed oil. It's going to hold the strokes, so especially if you like to paint, you know, really sort of more expressionist and you want to show your brush strokes and everything, everything, every little, you know, little hair and thing will stand out and it will show. So, um, you know, if you want really slick, smooth surface, then you can modify it. You can add linseed oil or stand oil to your paint and you can make it do whatever you want. Um, but these are some of the you know things that I like about the walnut oil. Um, and um, so I'll just begin by start squeezing some colors out and um, I'll show you some things. Um, so uh, we'll start I'll start here. This color here, this is um, genuine vermilion, which is mercuric sulfide and it's you know it's a classic you know, old master color. Um, it's still today the bright one of you know the brightest red really you can get. Um, it's very opaque, high, a lot of tinting strength. Um, you can see it's just you know it's, it's we also have it over here. You can see, but we'll I've sort of put things together just to give you an idea of how you could possibly use it. But of course, the sky's the limit. There's no there's no rules. Oh, but actually, there's some limits with this color. Right? Not really, no. With the genuine vermilion? No. With the sulfur? Who, who's this guy? Heckler. <laughs> 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 um, uh, we'll, get, we'll get to that. Okay, let's, let's just... No, that's for the, 